All right, so I'm back in the fan basement. So next is I'm going to be moving all of these blades over little by little. I might not get to all of them, but um, now I'm going to start with this front one with the, that Wakewood box from this one right there that I got from Tori about four years ago now. And I'm also going to be moving some of those as well. Um, there's, you will be seeing some fans that I may or may not be testing down here before I leave. Um, you'll find out in the future, but um, yeah. But, um, the Duracraft and the patent I'm still going to be using in here while I'm moving out stuff. So I'm probably going to be putting that patent on that little shelf right over there. And probably move the Duracraft over to the other side possibly. I'm not sure yet, but they are going to get some use over here before they possibly get put away for the time being. Coming back over here, I'm starting to see that it's starting to get a bit messy. So what I'm going to pr probably do is as I start moving the blades over is that um, I'm going to start putting some of the motors in boxes so that way I can just move them to the storage unit once that day comes and then start moving other motors over here afterwards. All right, so I got one bin basically filled up. Now this one is from the same box as these ones, but I should be able to get the rest of from the second box in here because I wouldn't... I know I don't have as many stuff in it because that one was falling apart. And as you can see, the box is finally empty. And for those who remember when I got that liquid from Toy, he drew the design on it as if it was the original box. Surprisingly, after all this time, it's actually holding up pretty well, considering how much stuff I stored in it. But um, yeah, I still see myself being able to use this box. However, the one next to it is definitely too far gone to still, be, still keep being used. Thankfully, this box is still in good shape, because I actually do like it. In fact, I totally went out of his way to, to draw all of that on it, so... Looks like it's still going to have some use in the new storage space. So, after I just moved the, um, liquid box out of the way, I see that... This box got crushed badly, but, um, still looks like everything's still intact. I mean... This box was from the old house, so it was not in the best shape anyways, and I... Do you see that I still have that Home Trends box, and... New Tone Swimline box as well. So at least I have a few more boxes I can use to store some small fans or shades and such. But um, yeah, definitely, this box is definitely gonna have to go. It's definitely not in shape to be used anymore. So um, yeah, let me start moving this stuff to the other bin and that way I'll have this whole corner cleared out. All right, so the second box worth of blades are already over here. There's still um, like one or two, a few spare loose ones that I gotta bring over, but those I'll bring over after because I don't wanna Keep bringing over blades here and not have a bin to store them in. So I figured this would be it for the blades for the time being. And then when I get another bin, I'll keep adding more. What I figured I could do though with the blades that I can't put in those bins is just for the ones I still have the blade arms and such that I either need to test it or never took them off when I got them or need to test them. I'm just gonna put them in these boxes for the time being. So that way, at least I have them moved out of the basement and it's not still more stuff I need to move out. So um, I got this corner cleared out for what was the necessity stuff, but um, most of what you see here is just trash I'm gonna be getting rid of, but I don't wanna move all it now because it's a lot of dust piles of like sand and such, and if I move that stuff now, it's gonna shut off the fire alarm, so what I'm gonna do is just wait until I get the vacuum and vacuum up this corner and then start clearing it out a little bit. But it's mostly just little trashy stuff. Um, I remember when this was here when I first moved in, but that's not good. You have like these blades, Came blades for the most of that. I mean, this one's snapped right here and such. And this fan, it's like a lighted housing one I got a while back, cane bladed one, but this thing's not good anymore. I have a shot boat, motor and such, bearings. Most of these, I guess, parts I'm going to be tossing and such, anyways. But um, now I've got a few motors here, I just got to move over there. But this area, for the most part, is cleared out. And um, I'm going to actually probably cut it today only for the fact that if I move this stuff it's gonna be even more crowded over there as you can see despite all of this stuff being brought over here there's still a lot that needs to be sorted through and put into um, boxes and everything so I'd rather not um, just keep putting stuff over here and then not end up having any space to start packing the stuff what I might do is start putting some more stuff into that room right there. Um, there's just a fan that I took down just for, to put up to make it air for, to let that one run and then I'll put this one back up for testing that's there. Not showing what it is, but it's, I haven't revealed what it is yet, but I figured I'd test that one here before we leave. But yeah, there's 
still a lot over here that needs to be sorted through. So what I'm going to probably do is next time I start moving stuff, I'm going to start putting stuff into that room. Maybe that'll be like a pack area. This will be like stuff that's just brought over. Or probably that'll be like the stuff where I bring it over. This will be like a packing area. Then that'll be just like the area at the end um, that's ready to go to the storage units. So, but um, yeah, I think that should be it for today. Um, I got the blades out of there. And that was something I thought was going to go out longer. But luckily it didn't. So, um, he so I'm going to be working on this shelf right here. Since this is the one that kind of takes up most of the space over there. You might notice there's more lighting than that is because I am testing a fan. But I don't want to reveal what it is. So to make it air, you can see it's right there and such. The only fan, that's why I didn't show to make it air right off the bat. But um, I don't want to spoil what it is. Since it is something that I know a lot of people have been waiting to see a video of. So just stay, definitely stay tuned to see that. Another thing is they actually just put in a new hot water tank. The other one um, was having issues, so they had to replace it. And that's another reason why I'm actually happy that I'm moving out of this basin, because since I have this really unique fan up right now, I'm just going to give it a little peek. It has four lights on it. That's all you're going to get. But um, for me leaving fans up on a test mount when I'm down, when I'm testing stuff, and then utility workers come down to check up on stuff, I always do risk the fans getting damaged by accident. Luckily, nothing, that hasn't happened yet, but... There's always a chance, so I'm happy that I'm moving up before that chance gets to happen. So now I'm going to go ahead and start moving these fans over to the other side. Then I'll, and then I'll, once I move all of those fans over, I'll start taking apart this shelf and move that over there as well. Alright, so this shelf's cleared out of all the motors. Now I just got to clear it from all the rest of the stuff that's on it. Then this shelf's ready to be taken apart. Alright, now the shelf is completely cleared, except for like a little piece of trash here and there. So now the shelf's ready to be taken apart. So next up, we'll be tackling this shelf here and removing everything over here. All right, now this shelf's completely empty. So now let me go ahead and start taking this one apart. What I start doing is start bringing this shelf over to the storage unit so that we can assemble it and then come back for the second one. All right, so I got the first shelf put together. I forgot to show it put over here without being assembled. I just wanted to get it put together, but Seeing this completely put together, it honestly fits in here pretty well, a lot better than I thought it would. I could even probably get the other one just like that right next to it. So I could put, probably even fit like four of these size ones right here. So with that being said, I'm probably going to put like the blade arm stuff and blades probably maybe like right here. So I'm most likely going to put the other one like this on the opposite side. Or maybe put like the blade arm stuff like right here where the light is. So it's, but it's probably what I'm going to do that way I can see the stuff better. But um, it fits pretty well in here. So I don't, actually don't, don't think I'm going to have any problem fitting all the shelves in here, to be honest. I mean, this one I thought was... When I get the room itself empty, I was like, ooh, it's, it's going to be a bit cramped. But honestly, I definitely should have some pretty good walking space in here. And with the ceiling being a bit high, that actually gives me even more of an opportunity to put stuff of higher down rods or like bigger white kits on the top, like the um, handle base thing clear and such. That was not to get a step stool though, just to reach the stuff on the top. But um, yeah, it definitely fits in here well. So now let me head back home and bring the second shelf over that's just like this. And then that should be it for the day, but maybe not. But um, yeah, I'll check back in a little bit. All right, so I got the other shelf here. Um, it's gonna be, I'm gonna call it a day because I'm actually very tired from moving all this stuff. And we're clearing out the basement still at the same time, but also I have finals I need to work on. So I'm going to cut the video here and now be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more videos to come.